Hello friends, it's Kathy Clement with Kathy by Design. I'm so glad you could join me here today. This is a really exciting day for me. It's my very first project as a member of the Little Birdie Crafts design team. I am so thrilled to be part of this wonderful team where I can share all kinds of mixed media and flower and uh, different projects with you today. I have this really sweet little butterfly birthday mixed media card with a gift wallet and it's all made with little birdie products. It's a six by six cutaway card and I've used, uh, we'll go over the supplies that I've used, but this is one of their burlap panels from their uh, paper collection, their gorgeous Wendy carnations, these sweet little burlap tags with tassels and beads, a wonderful embellishment, chipboard, I've used paints and sprays, um, the sequins and buttons I added from my stash, but this card opens out. There's room here for you to write your greeting. And then over here on the side is this really fun little gift card pocket. And I've created a little wallet for the gift card and it has a belly band to hold it closed. And inside there's a little tea bag, a little chocolate, and of course I added a decorated honey stick to go along with it. So this is the project we'll be making together today. I'll show you very quickly the supplies that you will need to make this. This is the Little Birdie Crafts True Love Story collection. And we're gonna be using this floral print, the text, these um, rolled roses um, from this collection. And then <clears throat> from the Texture Brew collection, we're going to be using the burlap textured paper and this wonderful aqua wood grain paper. This is 12 by 12 paper. And then we're going to be using Little Birdie Craft uh, 6 by 6 card base. We're going to be using some of their wonderful sisal fiber to add texture and dimension to our card. The chipboard piece was that sweet butterfly, and their chipboard all comes primed, so it's really easy. You can use it direct from the package or add a little paint, as I did. Then look at these darling tags. I just love tags, but these are so sweet. Look, they've got these lovely burlap tassels and beads. They come in craft. They come in burlap. So we're using those. I use this fun um, geometric stencil. I use these cute little birdie embellishments. These are birds and blooms. I used the Wendy carnations. They're, those that was the last I had of those. Those are gone. Then I used these precious little um, Say It With Rose Coral embellishments. I also used, these are so fun, the uh, Corrigate Craft Birthday Wishes and some of their burlap ribbon. Look how perfect the dots go with all of that. And then one of these wonderful burlap art boards. These are four by four, so those are super fun. And then for mixed media, I used, I love this chalk paint. I used the pink ballet matte chalk and the sandstone. Um, and then just a little bit of the color splash. So that's the supplies, that's the project. Hang with me, I'll be right back and we'll learn how to make this fun card. Don't go away. Okay, so now we wanna work on this little um, natural burlap art border that measures four by four inches. And what I've done to prep this is I've just laid down, I've just dried on a quick layer of this sandstone home decor paint and I've just kind of randomly gone all over a little heavier in some places, a little lighter in some places, and this is mostly dry now. So now I want to add this um, brick wall. It's called Rectangle Jumble Stencil. This is also Little Birdie. Let me just get this out of the packaging. And we're just going to lay this right over the top, and the nice thing is, is the width is just right to fit on here. So if you want to, you can tape this down. I'm just gonna hold it in place. So this is um, Little Birdie Matte Chalk Acrylic Paint. And I'm just gonna put a little dab of this directly onto my 
craft sheet. I shook it up real good first. And I'm just going to take my brush, and you can use any kind of brush that you like. And I'm just going to lay this down on this burlap panel just to add some texture, some extra texture and pattern. Got this color spray, color splash, hot pink. I'm just going to very lightly mist over that. Pick that up. Isn't that great? And we're just going to set this aside to dry. So this is a 6x6 six six Little Birdie craft cardstock base. It comes with a matching envelope. We're not going to worry about the envelope. But I opened this up. I placed it on my scoring tool. And I scored it at 9. Then this little flap folds back. This is going to become a pocket. And we've turned this into a cutaway card. And while I've got my pink ballet paint out. I'm just going to tap a little bit around the edges and you'll see I don't use a lot just to kind of add a soft edge. I like the way this looks. You can see I'm not putting a lot on but just enough to soften that edge and add a little bit of a highlight. We're going to do this along the fold. Also along the crease. And then on the inside. So we're just going to set that aside to dry. This piece is cut to measure three and a half inches wide by five and seven eighths inches tall. And I'm going to do the same thing with this. Just tap, and I might even drag some just to add. This has a great weathered look to begin with, but adding this paint like this is just going to enhance that. So that's going to set aside. And this is from the True Love Story Pack, and this is five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths of this pretty floral print with the script background and I'm just going to do the same thing here. I'm going to bring this card base in and we're going to adhere this panel to the inside. I'm just going to center this just like that and press it down and then over here I'm going to take my circle punch to create our little gift card wallet and just kind of line that up with the center whoops looks pretty good and just punch and then of course I'm going to go in with my paint where I just Okay, so now we're ready to line the inside of our gift card pocket. And I've cut a piece of from the Texture Brew, this nice burlap. And then on the top of that, we're going to take this pretty wood grain panel, the same that we used. And you can see I distressed this with some paint. And we're going to lay this over that flap. Just like this. Can with my paper punch. Punch a thumb hole. So now to make our gift card pocket, we're just going to run a bead of adhesive along the top and the bottom. And then just press that down to make sure everything is well adhered. 
So this is what we have at this point. Now, to create a sentiment panel, that goes right here, and I'm just gonna take my paintbrush and kind of run it along that edge, I like that. I'm going to put this right down here in this corner, just like that. And we'll come back to what we're going to add in the pocket, but first we're going to finish the cover. On the cover, I want this same wood grain piece that we prepared in the first step, and we're going to adhere that. And I love a cutaway edge. Um, I love how you can see the inside from the outside. And then here's our burlap panel that we prepared. And we're going to adhere this right about here. And I think before I do that, I want to take a piece of this really cute polka dot paper that is also, it's like polka dot roses. And I'm just gonna trim this down. Cut it about in half. And I'm just going to make a couple of quick banner flags. And to do that, I fold my paper in half, and from the fold side, I kind of cut a little V. So this one will go up here, and we'll just kind of play around with this, see how we like it to look. So we're just going to adhere these before we lay down that burlap panel. So this is gonna line up with the top edge. And this one is gonna line up with the bottom edge. So with the burlap panel, anytime you have this kind of cutaway edge or a gatefold edge, you need to flip your card open and see you don't want to glue past that point because if you do, you're going to glue your card shut. So I'm going to take my glue gun. This is hot glue. You can use score tape, you can use your regular adhesive, but this is hot and ready, so why not use it? I'm going to lay this down nice and straight. I'm going to line my card up and then just press down to adhere. Now we've got this great dimensional cover. I think I can adjust that a little bit. That looks good. And you can see we've got all this great shadowing and texture from the paint and the color spray that we added. Now I'm going to bring in some of this Sisal. Um, it comes in a package, Sisal Fiber. This is from Little Birdie. And this is just going to add some fun texture. So I'm just going to put some hot glue down, kind of random. I just need enough to kind of catch this. That's looking good. And then the next thing I did, I have these really adorable Little Birdie Natural tassels. They're handmade, and there are two kinds in there. One is a cardstock strip, and the other is burlap. What I did was I glued the cardstock to the burlap just to add a little extra strength. And I'm going to add a dimensional to the back of this. I cut up old packing boxes to use for my dimensionals. I find this works really well for me. I'm just going to add the hot glue here and then press this onto the back. And then I'm going to lay this here. Hot glue on top of my dimensional that I just added. And I'm going to put this right about here. And then I want these tassels to fall to the side. 
So I'm just going to put a couple little dots of glue right there to catch those, the beads. And I want one slightly above the other. Look how cute that is. So there's that. And then this is Little Birdie Chipboard. It comes pre-primed and what I've done is I just hit it with a coat of this pink ballet and then I spritz one little tiny spritz of this hot pink color splash. And we're going to add this right here. Like that. And then this is Say It With Love Rose Coral. These are really adorable little sentiment stickers with the little rolled roses. And I want to add the Happy Birthday. They have um, foam tabs on the back, but I just want to strengthen that with a little tiny bit of hot glue. And I'm going to press that in place there. Look how sweet that is. That's adorable. Okay, so let's get to the fun part in this card. Let's add our final embellishments. And down the right-hand side, I've added this little strip of eighth of an inch red line tape. I'm just going to tear off that liner. And then I looked through my stash and found this really cute burlap ribbon that kind of fits in nicely with the whole textured theme that we have going on with this card. So I'm just going to lay this down and then I'm going to come in with my scissors and trim that so that it's flush with the edge on each end and the nice thing about this red line tape is that it will also keep the um, burlap trim from unraveling so it's kind of a twofer I'm gonna I'm gonna add just a spot of this adhesive right here and then in this corner, I just took some burlap string and tied a big loopy string bow. And I want this to sit right here in this bottom corner. So I'm going to add a blob of glue. And then just pull those tails out, kind of adjust it the way I want it to be while that glue sets. And then um, I have a bit of foliage from the Fiorella flowers and I love that you get so much foliage in little birdie packages. This is the Fiorella and I'm not using these flowers but I did pull the foliage from here. These are Wendy carnations and I picked these because I really love how this pink just kind of picks up and it's got that tiny bit of sparkle that looks wonderful with um, all this burlap. It's kind of a fun, shabby, chic contrast. So we're just going to lay these down so that they're kind of meeting one another in the middle and then just hold them for a second, wait for your glue to set up. So that's those and those are so pretty. And then to dress up this little corner over here, I found these little buttons in my stash. And they just happen to be the same shade of pink as the pretty flowers in the coral rose embellishment. And I'm going to turn one of these so it goes one way and one so it goes the other. And just line those up nice and straight. And then I want to bring in, just for some extra sparkle, a few little sequins that I'm just going to scatter in and around. So that's pretty much it for the cover of the card. And then on the inside, what we're going to do is I've got a little strip of this ribbon that I found in my stash. And I just want to run this. And for this, I am going to use just a little glue. You can use a hot glue gun. You can use whatever you like. Score tape. I'm going to run this right along here and see just that little touch really dresses up the inside of the card and you've got this nice area to write your message and now we just need to build our gift card holder so for that from this same paper pack let me move some things out of the way so I can work I cut out this piece of the fun 
polka dot roses. This is just so cheery and cute. I like it. And this is four by eight and a half. And then you're going to put this on your scoring tool, or you can just use a ruler. But you're going to score it at three and a half, and again at seven. And this is going to make our little tea wallet gift card holder. And then we want to line this, and I've already cut the papers to fit. I've got this sweet floral that we had, and then this fun wood grain. So we're just going to go ahead and adhere those. And I did um, brush, dry brush the edges of these with that same ballet pink chalk ink. I just like how it creates a little um, edge, a nice little edge. Get that straight. And then I'm going to bring in my circle punch again. And we're just going to find the center here. Punch our little thumb hole, and this is going to fold up, kind of burnish that down. And you see how we've kept, we've used the same patterns inside and out, and that creates a nice consistent design. So in here we're going to tuck a cute little pink tea bag, and a little chocolate, because this is a birthday present. We want to let that glue set up first. And then this is just going to close. Okay, so let's finish off this little gift card holder. I've got this little birdie burlap ribbon that has this same cute pink polka dot. And I've cut a little square of this and backed it with double-sided adhesive tape. And we're just going to adhere that right about here. And then I made a little belly band just by folding some of the um, a one inch by nine inch strip of the floral paper and that's just going to slide like that as another layer and then I've got this adorable little embellishment let me see this one is birds and blooms and I took the pink one I took the dimensional off the back because I want this to be more flat. And I'm just going to add some hot glue to the back and lay it down right here. And then from this congrats and happy birthday craft embellishment, I took the presents. And again, I'm going to take the dimensional off the back because I don't want that. And I'm just going to add a dab of hot glue in the center and kind of put this so that it fits right in with our cute little bird and flowers. And then this whole thing will slide off and you have your gift card and tea bag, chocolate, whatever you want on the inside. And then this is a honey stick to go with the tea bag. And I just cut another little piece of our burlap and fringed the edges. And I'm just going to wrap this right around our honey stick to dress it up. Then I'm going to take my third pink button, add a dab of hot glue, and add this to the burlap strip and then this is going to go in the pocket diagonally but it will actually stick out through the top of the card which is cute it looks like a little flag so that's basically how you go about building this birthday gift card wallet I hope I've shared some tips and tricks that you can use in your own crafty adventures really you can take these papers anywhere you want to Use your own imagination. You can change up the patterns. You can change up the color scheme. But it's a great basic cutaway card with a gift card holder on the inside. Thanks for joining me. I wish you happy crafting. And I'm going to go.